This is part 13, damages in Texas non-compete litigation. As you know, if the non-compete is unenforceable as written because it's unreasonably broad, then that is going to preclude the employer from getting damages for any breach that occurs before reformation. But if you have a case where the non-compete is enforceable as written, or at least is potentially enforceable as written, then the employer has the possibility of recovering damages. The most common type of damage theory in a non-compete case is going to be lost profits. And of course, under Texas law, lost profits must be proven with reasonable certainty. The thing that I think you need to be careful about if you are the lawyer trying to prove the lost profits is, I would say, avoid trying to measure the lost profits based on the profits that your competitor made uh, off of hiring your employee. It's usually a better approach to look at the sales that you lost because of the employee going to the competitor and then with the help of a CPA expert to calculate the profits your company would have made if those sales had remained with your company. Now, there's no one-size-fits-all formula for damages, but that is typically the safest and most defensible theory.